This video is brought to you by A1 Lock and Key. Get your keys cut. Namaste. Welcome to Superman Alpha High Powered Health. It's indeed a pleasure to have you once again at the Superman Alpha High Powered Health videos. You know, today we're continuing the vegan series, the vegan saga. And today's topic is when is the right time to go vegan? All right. Now you may ask, what type of question is that? No, you shut up. No, you shut up. Hey, will you shut up? Well. That is a very important question because all depending on the circumstance, many of you may want to transition into a vegan diet, but due to your environment, due to your, your setting, your home, your family members, it's going to be impossible and it's going to cost you more stress than if you did it at the right time. So to cut corners, as a matter of fact, we don't like to cut corners, but to get straight and clear, being vegan is going to be successful for you depending on your environment the age category your family background and your tradition so for instance let's say i have a friend her name is sasha now sasha grew up in a family who was seven day hello i'm here to so the seven day they honored the the attributes of eating only turkey chicken and fish but they mean that they eat white meat, but they uh, they do not eat red meat, and they follow some principles. So for Sasha, it was easy for her to transition into uh, the vegan diet because her family already had a background in knowing about it, so therefore she didn't have as much social pressure or family pressure, and especially when she went to gatherings. So they would literally help her to be vegan because they understood. Oh, oh, oh. Man. So strong. Well, in the recent studies have shown that certain people are genetically predisposed to gaining weight. However, I know there's a, one of my friends uh, by the name of Patrice. Patrice's family, boy, she trying to go vegan is like the, the hardest thing ever because her family is like big bone. They say big bone and it's obese. Your mama got a big head. <laughs> You do have big ass. Don't tell me nothing. Your ass is just big in our family. So you need to get used to that. Right, and they grew up and going through Christmas traditions and everybody must eat meat. So it's hard for her to be vegan. And she finds it so hard to tell she quit. So it depends on roughly on how much you're able to control within your life. So for instance, let's say you are you don't live with your parents, you have your own place, you make a good amount of money where you can choose and dictate what you want to eat, then perfect. So the perfect time to go vegan is when you're off age. I'm going to embarrass me. I don't want to go <laughs> Meaning that you are out of your parents' house. I can tell you this from my experience. I tried to be vegan when I was in my parents' house, and it sucked because every time you're seeing them eat their fish, every time they get their chicken and stuff, it's like, it's annoying. It's like, ah, can't you just put that thing away? You understand what I'm saying? So when I was here, when I lived on my own, I've been on my own for two years now, paying my own rent and being able to buy my own grocery, buy my own furniture, all those different things. So, but that now I'm, I could successfully eat what I want because in the house is only the things I put in there. Thanks, I've been dying for one of these. It, where's my drink? What drink? It's so only the ingredients, the fruits and vegetables, uh, all of them, no junk food, so therefore I can control the environment. Because see, if you try to go vegan in an environment that's not conducive, as in your family is, is and remember, it said that your environment is stronger than your willpower. <laughs> no matter how disciplined you try to be, you only as disciplined as your environment. So like I say, if you grow up in a family where you're always seeing people smoke, of course, the smoking mentality is gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna be easier for you to take it on. Okay, so the best time to go vegan is when you have this control and say of where you live and your own money because I know a lot of kids they want to go vegan and their parents are quite contrary they say uh-uh you need to buy what we put in this house I don't want to eat this type of food I don't want to eat this no more I, don't, I ain't making this all better yeah, you want me you want me for the rest of the month and yeah also too before the perfect time to go vegan is when you got enough information about the vegan diet I know a lot of people want to start a vegan diet, but they have no plan. They literally just say, I'm going to go vegan. And then they 
they, the only thing they think about it, they can eat salad <laughs> and they eat fruit and then they wonder why they fail in a vegan diet. So you need to have a plan. You need to know where you're going to get your sources of carbohydrates from. What are you going to eat consistently? What are you going to eat for breakfast? What are you going to eat for lunch? What are you going to eat for dinner? And then you're going to make sure to eat in a way that you can get all array of nutrients. So you have to be very aware. So the best time to go vegan is when you have known, number one, known enough about the vegan diet. Number two, have the sufficient resources or funds or money to be able to buy what you want and where you have to say. And number three, the best time to go vegan is once you apply those those two things. Okay, I don't encourage people to try to go vegan unless they know sufficiently enough about the vegan diet. Number two, know already what they're gonna potentially eat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And number three, having a system in place to be able to prepare your meals. Number like, cause one of the main important thing is some people say, oh, if I go vegan, where am I gonna eat? Well, you need to know of the places that sell vegan food. Like for me, I have learned it along the way. One is the Cup to Kitchen. Shout out to Uncle Sarah, the Cup to Kitchen. Uh, they do fantastic uh, vegan food, you know. Uh, even for some of you media, they got something for you too. <laughs> yeah, but also to uh, New Life, um, Vegetation, uh, they have uh, nice vegan food and their vegan food tastes really good too. Um, and number three, um, there's a place <clears throat> in, where was that place? Well, it, it's escaping my mind right now. I guess I wasn't supposed to mention them, but I'll keep that a little secret. But yeah, so... That's those things. Those are the things you need, need, need to know. Okay, you need to know your grocery list. You need to know how you're gonna prepare meals, um, how much money you want to allot every week towards your vegan diet. Because it's just like when you buy regular grocery, you need to know what you're gonna do. So anyway, y'all, that is all for this video. I thank you for watching. Like I said before, if you want strategic steps and have the know-how of approaching the vegan diet, go to my website www.supermanalpha.com and download my free ebook. Top five mistakes vegans vegans make. I cover a whole lot of the things that I have said already in that book, and it's, it's a great read. So read it, leave me some feedback, and let me know. And see you next time on Superman Alpha and Master. Until next time, see you in the next one. Next time. Wake up in the morning as I